Hey, it's Kent with the Effective Church Group. Thanks for joining me. Imagine stepping into the early church and facing a food pantry crisis. The early church had already weathered its first crisis with leadership and church members with Annas and Sapphira. But then came the food pantry conflict. At this point, the church had grown to over 5,000 households, so roughly 15,000 members. The food pantry wasn't a social outreach ministry, it served church members who were in need. The Greek-speaking Jewish Christians were somehow getting the short straw when it came to the food distribution. The Hebrew-speaking Jewish Christians were getting the priority. Apparently, a delegation headed to the staff offices and demanded that the pastoral staff step in and run the food pantry officially. In other words, a clear invitation for Pastor Fetch. The apostles sidestepped the demands and offered a solution that challenges how many churches approach leadership and problem solving. Let's dive in and take a look. First off, the apostles tackled the crisis with a team, not a single hero. This highlights the power of shared responsibility and diverse talents, something crucial for sustainable ministry. Remember team over individual. Second, the early church didn't prioritize business experience. They focused on spiritual maturity and wisdom. This begs the question, are we leaning too heavily on resumes and neglecting spiritual depth when choosing leaders? It's food for thought as we move forward. Finally, the apostles prioritized leaders known for wise decisions and positive reputations. It's not just about the task at hand, but the impact on the wider community. Leaders with good reputations become beacons drawing others in and making the ministry more inviting. The early church's approach offers timeless wisdom for today's churches. By prioritizing spiritual maturity, wise decision-making, and positive reputations, we can cultivate leaders who embody our mission and values. Want to dive deeper? Check out our Leadership Accountability Cheat Sheet in the description below. It's a resource to guide leaders on a path of growth, aligning them with the principles that fueled the early church's success. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more church tips and insights. And hit that like button if you enjoyed this content. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you next week. Until then, keep on transforming.